Hello, welcome to this reflection. My name is James Setter. It's an honor and privilege to be reflecting with you today on the theme, Victorious One. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this season, we cannot celebrate without equally reflecting on the finished work of the cross. I want us to reflect on 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. It reads, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This victory is for you and me today. It is victory over every doubt, fear, insecurity, discrimination, sicknesses, anxiety, or whatever it is you may be struggling with today. I love these verses in Colossians chapter 2, verse 15, verse, verse 13 to 15. It reads, And you were dead in your sin and the uncircumcision of your flesh. God made you alive together with him, having forgiven us all our sins by cancelling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, kneeling it to the cross. 15. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. Jesus won the victory for our sin and unseen sins. He won the victory for our now and not yet. Our eyes may try to play tricks on us sometimes, and we may think that we're losing because of what we see physically with our eyes. The good news is, Jesus even died for the things we do on purpose and the things that we're yet to do. We cannot outdo or outrun his grace. He knows. What Jesus did on the cross publicly shamed and disgraced the enemy. By placing the sin and shame of the world on himself, something powerful happened. Jesus triumphed over every bit of disease, fear, doubt, and darkness by kneeling them all to the cross. Over the past 24 months or so, the world had gone mad with COVID and how it impacted on us individually. I don't know what you're going through today or what may be happening to you. You may have questions about what is on, what is going on now because you may not understand. But I know one thing for sure. The good news is everywhere we go, everywhere we walk, every battle we may face, that victory that Jesus won for us on the cross is inside of us. I want to encourage us therefore to hold our heads up high and remember what God has called us to do. I want us to remember that the victory that Jesus won is not just only for us, it's for everyone who believes and calls on his name. This victory is for his glory and his fame. He did not give it to us to keep it to ourselves. So this Christmas season, I want us to remember and spread the good news that Jesus has given us victory. He has overcome it all. He has conquered everything. And we need to walk as children of the one who conquered it all. Thank you and God bless you.